Good evening. Here I am playing Assassin's Creed 3. Um, when I left off, I had just killed, uh, I believe it's Haytham? Haytham's friend, um, or so-called, and stolen his necklace, and now I'm in the process of escaping the Opera House. So let's continue to escape, because no one would think it's the upscale-looking dude. They're going to think it's the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone's like trying to run out and stuff. And this is the easiest assassination I've ever had! In, this, in, in all the games that I've played. And there we go. See, I, I, I probably could have made it, but I didn't want to miss the video and have to pause and stuff, so. Sorry about the last video. And how was the old Rather dull, truth be told. <laughs> Rather dull. Yeah, now we get to see the symbol that I was talking about before, I think. For King and Country. I see it's a Mayan symbol, if I'm not mistaken. It's a... Um, uh, millennial or something like that. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. Yeah. If this book is to be believed, it will open the doors it's of a storehouse key. built by those who came before. See, I don't like that they call them those who came before already. But I guess Desmond might have... Or not Desmond, um... Do we know what it is that be held within? Uh... Ezio might have told people. a weapon or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. So yeah, I guess there's an out for them knowing about them. But I, I don't particularly like them knowing about them. It seemed like Desmond was the one finding out about them. <laughs> Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Yes. Or our enemies. Should Indeed. They, find it first. they won't. You've seen to that. Yeah, see, the, the, the speech animation in this is good, but like in-game uh, stuff, Mr. Harrison, or some of the other stuff, just does not work. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. I'll try and show you. Um, eventually, I'll get there. Especially the captain, if I get there. And it's, uh, that way. Again, it's, it might have been a glitch that I ran into. Oh. I'm dyslexic, so I probably I can't read through all these names fast enough. But I'm glad I'm recording, so I can go back and pause it and read through them all. Ah! I couldn't read through even two of them this time. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Ah. Go forth, Haytham. And I was right, was Haytham. For honor and glory. And there was no 100% synchronization, I don't think. Yeah, I got full sync. Let's go ahead and show you this, so I can show you this as well. See, um, here's the first one, the refresher course. Here's this. There was no bonus stuff, and there will be bonus stuff in this one, Journey to the New World, which is what we're getting to now, if I'm not mistaken. La, 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 la. Yeah, see, I like that they uh, changed the white room a bit. So there's, like, reflections of me and stuff. And it's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, I heard a bell. What was that? Oh, seagulls. Oh, we're already on the ocean. Well, that's another thing that, I, that I'll point out once I get there, but, uh... <laughs> Yo-ho-ho -ho and a bottle of rum! <laughs> anyway, um, there, there's certain sections in this where there's, like, uh... There, there's, like, jump cuts. Where like suddenly they're in the they're below and then boom they're up they're up and they're already talking on on deck <laughs> and I kind of miss like them just walking up you know like just something that seems a little bit more of an intro to what they're doing so oh and there are there are new games and stuff in here um, I won't show you those just yet uh, I'm not all that great at them um, I have a moment to talk. We can talk ah, to people. A fellow Londoner. Yes. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. 
Rupert Mott, pleased to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, too. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the murder? They ruled out robbery, eh? So perhaps it was really? a I stole something for I mean never mind, don't think I didn't change it. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. Indeed. Yeah, for, forget about that bit about where I said that I stole something from him. I mean I I I, I never mind. <laughs> Let's go talk to the doc. Good morning, I walk in behind him, I walk in in front of him. you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve board the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. Oh. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. Well, that's and interesting. Discover why that is. Well, I hope you are Probably because they spend the most of their days on the sea. As do I. Thank you for the kind word. Alright, and I will bypass the games again, like I said, because um, they take up a decent amount of time. There's like strategy involved, and. Oh, wait. You know what? Take the stairs up this way. Oh, I guess I can't. <laughs> I was going to say, I took the stairs up this. Uh, um, more at this side of the boat last time. But, uh, let's talk to these dudes. Captain? Hello. Mr. Kenway. I just wanted to thank you again for taking Mr. me. Mr. Kenway! I apologize for any inconvenience that may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm okay, sure the captain's doing okay sure now, sure but in the next scene that we, days, that we see him in, I think... I lost several um, contracts to result. I had no idea. Of he he course, should be no. like not moving no, his mouth at all when he should be talking. If I'm not if well again that could have been a, like I said, it could have been a glitch that I ran into. Um oh now we get to fight. Be well. You knew about that. Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Oh, and they also upgraded the, um, or updated the, the fighting system, which I'm not completely used to yet. <laughs> okay, and there is, um, uh, an optional objective here that, um, I'm supposed to... Uh, supposed to not let my health go down below 10. Or 10%, or not, not supposed to lose 10% of my health or something like that. So. And it, this, this actually, this level takes a pretty decent amount of time. Um, so keeping it above 10% is, uh, um, pow, 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 ha ha, take a knee to the face, in the face, <laughs> because I'm going to kick your butt, hey, <laughs> and stay down. Do you? Never! Oh. oh yeah, this part here. Now I get to disarm him. Hey, I'm holding the button for it! I guess I was holding it way too long or something. Whatever. What's the meaning of this? Captain! Explain yourself! Oh, not this scene, it's the next scene where we see the captain. Forgot that we saw the captain here. Sorry. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. Yeah! A word, please, Mr. Kenway? Oh, I nearly forgot. <laughs> There's your knife back. 
<laughs> you show him, Hazen. See, I don't care for you, Mr. Loss. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon. You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Ugh. Look, I don't want to argue. No, it's not this fact, one either. Not I this scene. It's going to be the scene where we're up on top. Oh, this um, is rich. Where we're up. I suspect some of the men tend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot yeah, yeah, so it's not this one. It might be on, like the next time that we actually see him. And why should I help you? Mutiny. Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Yes. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Oh. Are we understood? Excellent. <laughs> Good day. Good day, sir. <laughs> See how proper that how proper he is. <laughs> okay, and that's gonna have to be the end. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll continue the next video. If it wasn't evening when you watch this, just remember, it's always evening where I am.